Welcome to Start Biz Easy. My name is Agusa Kesta Ibinige, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to start the solar energy business. How to start the solar energy business. First of all, what is solar energy? Solar energy is um, it, it falls under the renewable energy sector, which is in charge of production, installation, distribution of solar energy product and by the way this business is a very very profitable or should i say highly profitable business to start whether you're starting it in nigeria or outside nigeria it is a very very profitable business to start and we're going to be talking about how you can start this business and also the benefits of this business okay um as usual we are going to be using our website start this easy but this time around we are not going to be using it anymore as a background and also reference so I'm just going to be using it to pick points while I explain that. So, but if you want to get resources from where I'm picking my point from, which is our website, you can just comment in the comment section, drop a comment in the comment section, and I'll send you the link to the website. All right. So, like I said, I said we are going to be talking about how to start a solar energy business in Nigeria. So, there are several steps you must take before you can start this business. Or let me just round it up with a seven good step you must take to start this business. Number one is to identify your niche very very important within the solar energy sector there are several niches that you can consider starting and also maybe we, uh, as a result of capital um, constraints and all that so you might want to decide on change the shift or start with a niche then grow into the bigger niche which is a dream uh, depending on any one that you want to do all right so number one on the niche list is the solar panel manufacturing if you have money to start this business in nigeria i recommend you to start it because it is an untapped business we have, we have so many um solar products out there in the market 99 percent of them are all imported i don't know if there is any solar installation business going on in nigeria where they make panel i doubt i don't think so so most of them are always imported so it is a business an untapped business that is considered to be considered to be very lucrative among the whole niches because it is one of the sector that has not really been tapped so i recommend you if you have the capital to start it it's going to be it's very very is a capital intensive business so if you have the money to start it then i recommend you going into the solar manufacturing um, sector within the solar panel sector so we also have um solar installation services uh, i guess you're familiar with these those are people that actually install um the solar panel um that's the product of course then we have the solar energy cause um consultancy yeah so you can become a consultant within the solar energy sector on um solar energy issues but most times in nigeria the way business are structured i think consumers actually prefer when you are the installer and also the consultant so they prefer you just having both um attributes to yourself so and i recommend you if you want to be an installer also be an a perfect or a good consultant someone who can take an estimate of the solar panels or solar energy equipment needed to power a house so that's the whole job of a um, consultant so you can just make sure you add that to your cv also and also add the experience for that so the next niche under the solar energy niche is solar equipment sales which i believe you are familiar with it wherever you are selling the solar equipment from the batteries to the panels even down to the cables um, another niche is solar energy financing this one is a very very risky business one solar um, company was actually doing this in benin city but well, when i went there to do my solar that's this where i'm shooting this video now is run by solar so where i went there to do my solar installation i tried to go there to see if i can take advantage of this loan whereby you pay within a period of i think years yeah there's a year's package so you can pay within a period of years and um, definitely there's interest that comes with it so i went there to do a research on it because i've heard about them like long time ago but i just went there i think not too long so to just do um to find out if the program is still on so when i went there they, they said they actually scrambled the program that i no longer do this solar energy financing whereby they give money or they rather they just you come to them that you want to install this is how it works you come to them that you want to install a solar panel they take the care of the charges take care of the expenses all you just have to do is to start paying them monthly in the whole expenses or the estimated cost that they spent in installing that solar panel for you are covered so that's how solar um, energy financing works so 
Um, the business is actually profitable, it's good, but the risk is so much. And the reason why the, they actually cancelled it was because they had so many defaulters. In fact, some customers were even playing smart on them. They'll come install the next thing you hear, they have already they've relocated to Abuja or relocated to another city. So it became a very tough one for them. And for that reason, they had to scramble it and also came up with another method of financing uh, that has to do with bank. So if you want to take advantage of that financing, now first of all, you need to go to the bank, they'll send it to the bank, I think with a letter or so, you go to the bank, is it Stambik? I think it's either Stambik or Sterling Banks. So you go there, tell them that you want to do a solar, um, uh, you want to take advantage of the solar financing um, program or loans, uh, loans. so they'll then do some collateral, active for collaterals and all that. I like, you know how banks matter goes and so that thing became a very discouraging fact for the people that are doing it so they had to give it to the bank to be doing it all right uh, another niche within the solar energy niche is um, solar energy maintenance and repair which i also recommend you as a solar installer to not just be a solar installer but also be um, a consultant and also do maintenance and repair so that you can make more money of course, uh, we also have solar energy farm development. This one is also an untapped business, just like the manufacturing. Um, and most times, the people that can take advantage of this are people that are living in the suburban areas. I mean, I mean the outskirts. You know, urban area. We have the urban area where there is more development, but outside the urban area, not really a rural area, but the development is still like ongoing. So those that's what I call the suburban area. So if you are within those kind of areas whereby they have light challenges, you can set up a solar farm that can generate like up to two watts, four watts of energy and supply to many houses there and they pay you at the end of the month monthly for that light. Of course, it's going to be 24 hours light and they have to pay whether you're going to be running on a fixed amount or you're going to be partnering with those um, those guys that are into the solar energy technological aspect. You can partner with them to create a meter for you uh, whereby people will be buying cars to refill their meter as they spend the energy. So it depends on you and depends on your money uh, because the solar farm <laughs> development or energy sector is a very um, highly profitable though it's highly profitable but it comes with a lot of capital to start it and i recommend you using a lithium battery because there are different type of batteries out there we have normal the normal dry cell we have the wet cell and we have the lithium battery i recommend you using lithium battery if you want to start the solar farm business uh, we also have the solar energy education and training wherever you are training people if our most installers are also trainee and educators so they even you that want to get the skill you have to get it through a solar installer in fact i recommend you don't if you go to get this solar energy um maybe you want to become an installer you are looking for someone to learn on that make sure that person is also an installer so that you can get your whole gap of how it works don't go and learn on that an education uh, whether an educator or a tutor that is not really an, an installer so please make sure you, you learn under someone who is a full or when no installer and also a consultant also so that you learn how to calculate um, capacity for each houses and how to recommend um, solar panel for people that wants to buy and also people that want to install for himself so we also have the solar energy software technological aspect like i said i said if you want to go into the solar farm aspect you should consider partnering with those in charge of the software and technology within the solar energy sector so that probably they can come up with a meter Whereby people will always buy cars because if you want to be cheated. Whereby you're supplying an electric, you're supplying light to one house, and um, they're using more energy than the other houses, and everybody's paying the same thing. So you want to make sure you have that equilibrium within the market in order to satisfy the customers. And uh, I think lastly is a solar energy integration with other technology. So that's a whole niche out there within the solar energy. So the next thing you want to do within it to start the solar business is to get your required capital yeah i can't really state any amount for you to to study solar capital so it all depends on the niche that you want to go into and how you want to run that particular niche so that would depend on you and your own capital but if you want to go into the sales of equipment you are going to be needing millions to run it needing millions and when i mean millions i think you should be talking about 15 20 million minimum to start selling um, solar energy equipment because now um, business actually demands money because let's take a battery for instance a battery of 220 volts or 220 watts uh, amps takes up to like uh, 
100 something to buy just pay one 100 something to buy based on the current inflation or because before it was way cheaper so take like 100 something to buy so now imagine you want to start with one million era. how many batteries are you going to buy how many panels are you going to buy so that's how so if you want to start that business of selling solar equipment you're going to need a lot of capital for it and so the others the only um solar niche that you don't really need much capital uh it's just the installer if you want to be an installer because first of all, the only thing you want to do is to learn. You go to someone that wants to teach you who is already an established installer, sign up for that program. Of course, it's going to come with a fee. Uh, you pay the fee, you learn, then you buy the equipment that is needed to learn and also then you kick off your installation business. So that's the only thing I can say. Don't really, don't really um, attract capital apart from what you'll be spending for your training and also getting your equipment to work with. But apart from that, um, just know that this business is capital intensive. Uh, you are going to be spending the money, of course, on equipment, marketing, office space, and also operational expenses. By operational expenses, I mean payment of utility bills, your employees, and all that. All right. Um, okay. I said if in case this is just like an addition to to get your capital. In case you want to know ways by which you can source your capital, just check the description below. I made a video on ways that startup um, business can get funding for their business. So check the description below to watch that video to get ideas and ways you can get money for your business. All right, number three is to register your business. Very, very important. You need to register your business or else you are not running a legal business in Nigeria. Um, so you need to register your business. You can register as a sole proprietor, partnership or limited liability so it depends on you but for an installer i recommend you registering as a sole proprietor um, based on your it's just more like a one-man business thing you start expanding because as an installer there is um, an opportunity to scale up in that business so you definitely you are going to expand so you, then you maybe you cannot shift from sole proprietor upgrade your business to a limited liability all right the number four this is step four now you can start the solar energy business is to get an office space or a shop an office space necessary for those that are into installing consultancy maintenance repair and all that but an office um, a shop for instance will be needed for those that are going to be selling the equipment and the product so you either decide whether you're going for office or shop and you also boss down to your niche you know, uh, yeah so you need to get it uh, it also depends on your niche. All right, number five is to get insurance. So uh, you need an insurance for this business. Very, very important because sometimes these batteries, not sometimes, these batteries are chemical. So even if you are going to be selling your equipment, you need to be very careful and get everybody protected by an insurance policy so that in case of any unforeseen circumstances, it will be easier for you to foot to be at the same time. Um, make make it more like uh, not your faults because um, some businesses when they have issues they don't really know how to handle the issue because um, they'll feel like if they spend on the issue it will look as though they're trying to cover their mess but if they don't spend it would look as though they don't really have empathy for their employees so but having an insurance policy will help you to cover every loopholes every risk or rather most of the risk so you can just take a comprehensive insurance policy to protect both your workers, even your equipment, to protect yourself also and also your business. Especially for those installers who don't like going for insurance policy, please, you guys are climbing roof for goodness sake. And I advise you to get, even if you're not getting it for yourself, get it for those that are climbing the roof. You need an insurance policy to cover those guys because those guys are risking hell. To raise those panels on top of the roof, especially for those buildings that are way higher. Man, those guys are really trying. If you have seen anyone, you just know that these guys are really trying with a long ladder, everything. You know the risk. Just a little mistake is a story for another day, man. Alright, so number six is to partner with a solar business company. Yeah, yeah. If you are going to be an installer, I recommend you to partner with a solar business company whereby they are your direct dealers or just have like a number of them so that when you're given an estimate of um or uh, maybe you're given an estimate to a customer of how many panels, batteries of or how much it's gonna cost to raise a standard solar panel for them that'll be giving them 24 hours light or maybe um, a light that will last only throughout the day while for the night they can use the Nepal light on or, or, or that. So you can give them an estimate and for, for you to do that you need a supply, you need to have a contact, a contact of someone who sells this material because the way prices changes these days 
you can sleep wake up the price is is something else and it's not like it's going down it's upward going upward so you want to make sure that you're always updated so that you don't overestimate your calculation and you don't also underestimate your calculation to your customers because this is where uh, and please this is where i really want to say don't get greedy if you are installing a solar panel or maybe you are recommending uh, recommending um, a number of solar um, panel or you want to install solar panel for someone and you are recommending how much they need to set up that solar panel or solar um, energy products in general both the panel the batteries the inverter and all that you want to set it up for them please don't or don't go and be giving them and use less I don't know what a greedy just let me just say the word greedy prices please don't give them a greedy price it is better you are charging higher for your service you tell them okay to charge to have me do this job for you this is how much I charge it's better you are charging them they know that oh okay this whole money is going because it's the one doing the charges rather than you trying to extort from them by adding additional prices or additional money to their cost it will kill your business faster than it rules please make sure you don't get greedy with that give them the exact price or an estimated price or even when you give them the price make sure you tell them to them that these prices i'm giving you giving you is an estimated price please so that to build your reputation because this business is all about reputation if you can build your reputation you don't need to spend money on marketing the people that you're servicing or the few ones will be the one to go and tell others to wreck the father will be the one to force them to get you to on that job so that was how honest it please and the last step talks about marketing which i've already started already that's how honest is please you need to market your business and one key factor that can help you market your business is honesty very very important honesty because you're not just marketing your business you're also marketing yourself whether you're selling um this um whole product solar energy products or you are running a solar farm please make sure that honesty is your number one consideration or key factor in your decision making all right so those are all the steps needed for your solar energy business so the next one we want to talk about the benefit of solar energy uh definitely you have so many solar so many benefits of having a solar energy or even doing the business for instance the terrible electricity in the country the overestimated b from nepas or the pcn or whatever name they appear now is just too much having a solar energy will save you a lot of stress yes it's, it costs to install solar energy in your home especially if you want to run the 24 hours light it's, it costs but the benefit comes is the benefit there is just so much because the cost comes like one time cost and subsequent what you'll be doing is just maintenance if you're running a solar farm you don't really need to even spend much on maintenance because maintenance is more like every five years so you make money for the whole five years then when you get to five years you can just call a solar energy engineer to help you do a general maintenance and you pay the person off till another five years or maybe you can now make it shorter based on after the first five years of the battery and you're using lithium battery so you don't really have issues but if like your homes or your office you're using a wet cell for instance you can be doing a service um every time the, you have to check the gauge your acidity level of your battery if it goes down all you just need to do go and buy a distilled water to top it up you top it up with distilled water and that's what you really need to call anybody to come and service your solar energy for you say maybe you are just too lazy to do that so you get the distilled water service there's not too much so if you're spending the money just know that you're spending the money as a one-time cost then maybe within the years like after two years after three years uh, you, and you have some spare cash you can just like change some of the batteries set the battery as um, second hand use then add money to it and get new one just to renew it and that's the only thing your panel will still be there everything will be working fine you can also sell your panel just to do a renewal and all that but your inverter you don't do that with inverters so it's very very it comes to the one time cost but it saves you a um or should i say a, a repeated cost of paying electricity b that is not really reasonable especially for those that are calling the call band a now i don't know what's band a but b that they're giving that you're not sharing the light when countries are actually giving constant light to their whole country the your power holding company here in nigeria is giving band a and band b very funny people <clears throat> all right so we also give you that energy independence as you have you are the one in charge so you can know when to switch off your lights switch off your fridge and all that so it gives you that free benefit and also it comes with the low maintenance cost that's the benefits of solar energy 
that's what i'm talking so we also job creation and create job creation and all that so many businesses companies are even using the solar energy and mind you solar energy is not just about battery please there's also a solar energy that has to do with the wind wind uh wind i think that one falls under renewable energy anyway why solar talks about the sun which is panel and all that but there's also another renewable energy which is wind so in case you, you don't you're not feeling comfortable with going for solar energy which is all about sun you can use the wind wind energy to power your house or your business so that's just all about how you can start the solar energy business so if you want to know more of everything i just said you can ask me in the comment section below i'll give you a link to the article then you can read that i spoke more about them um in details um so that's all about how to start the solar energy business please like share subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any question contribution just leave them in the comment section below my name is Timmy and until next time see you